So, firstly, let's just look at the Raspberry Pi 3. Take that out. So, open this box, and inside it, you will find there's a little anti static bag. And you just open that, and inside there's this little green circuit board. Now, that is the Raspberry Pi computer, okay? And that, that is actually a full computer, okay? So, if you've never seen one of these before, think of an empty PC case with one of these inside it, okay? It's not a USB peripheral that you plug into your computer to make it work. It is a computer in its own right. And if you just, let's just go around the edge of it, what you've got here is a, it's a HDMI video output output port, okay? You've got an Ethernet port, you've got four USB ports to plug your keyboard and mouse in, okay? This header here is used for input and output, called general purpose IO. You've got a camera connector there, and also a display connector up there, which is actually only if you use one of our display peripherals. And then the power goes into that little micro USB socket at the end there. So it is a completely standalone computer. Okay. So what you're going to do, the first thing it needs is the is the um, is the so this the, the SD card is like the hard drive. Okay, so just open that, pop that out, and then what you've got is a full SD adapter, but with a micro SD card slot in it. Now, if you look on the bottom of your Raspberry Pi, you'll see there's this silver thing here. Okay, that's the actual card slot for it, and you can obviously see that that's way too big for it. But if you look closely, you see down at this bottom, there's a little bottom, the little tab there, and if you do that, that comes out. Okay, so this is only for if you wanted to put this into a PC or some other computer to access it. But so essentially, what you do, just take this out, pop it in here like this. Okay, and that's so that. That's basically the the boot drive that it's going to boot from. Okay, so I'm going to use it with HDMI because this is a HDMI monitor. Um, but essentially, if you were going to use the VGA adapter, all you would do is to is pop that in there like that, and then you'd get your VGA cable. Sorry for the noise, and then you just plug it straight in there like that, okay? And that can go off to your VGA monitor on the other end of that, of that, okay? And that should just work. Now, if it doesn't work, just work. What there'll be the main cause of that kind of problem, if you just if you plug in your Raspberry Pi and turn it on, you don't see anything when you're using one of these things. It's because this thing is actually quite simplistic, and all it does is it just converts the signal coming from the the, the HDMI digital signal for coming from the Raspberry Pi to a, an analog signal of the same resolution. Okay. Now, by default, the Raspberry Pi wants to wants to output video in HD, which is 1920 by 1080. So unless your monitor can support that. Um, you might find that you just don't see anything. And what you can do is you can actually edit a file on the Raspberry Pi to force it into a lower resolution video mode. Now, if you need to find out how to do that, you can just Google that. That's actually like a quite a common operation that people do. And you edit a file called config.txt, which is a little bit like the BIOS of the Raspberry Pi, and you just add some lines into that, which will um, force it into another video mode, like a lower resolution you know, you, could, you can go down as low as 640 by 480 if you want to, using this, okay? But just for now, I'm just gonna use HDMI because that's easier. Okay, so first off, plug in the HDMI to that one. And then that's gonna go around the back of the monitor. So I've got a bit of camera shake. Okay, so my monitor plugged in, and then I'm going to plug in my USB mouse and my USB keyboard. Okay, I'm not going to install the Sense app just yet, just in case you were all wondering about that. I'm actually not going to do that until just in a little bit. I'm not going to use the camera module yet either. Okay. So now that's pretty much everything. I'm, I'm pretty much plugged in, I'm, I'm ready to turn this on. Okay. Now, when I turn this on, I actually can't screencast it because um, 
the uh, the noob software that's going to run now to install it um, uh, won't actually allow me to run like a, a desktop capture mode on it. So what I'm actually going to have to do, really sorry, but I'm going to have to point like hold the 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 monitor underneath this camera so you can see it. So when you when you plug it in, turn your monitor on, and then what you should see is something like this. There you go. So you've got a, a Raspberry Pi. And what you'll see now is lots of different aerospace logos cycling. Okay. So we just wait for a second. You'll see that that number starts increasing. And then you'll start seeing different pictures come up. So there's the Astro Pi logo. This is what you'll see when you first turn it on. You won't see this every time. This is just like uh, installing the operating system. Um, like when you get a brand new PC. Um, and we're not going to sit here and watch all of this, um, but I'm just showing you that when you're installing it, this is the kind of thing you should see. And then we will go into uh, a, like a nice um, desktop interface, which you'll see in a second. 